Graduates, today each of you is earning an advanced degree. For some of you, this is your first graduate degree. For others, it's not. Some of you will continue your formal studies, others will not. For all of you, it means that you're joining a very small, very elite number of persons worldwide. And so I ask you, what does it mean to be educated as a citizen of the world today? People will look to you to help answer this question. How you answer this question will determine not only our future, but also the future of our nation and the world. In the news, in private conversation, almost everywhere you go today, you hear the words globalization, multiculturalism, and diversity. People everywhere are debating the value of religion. They're arguing about the extent to which religion divides us. Every day we hear the advantages of having a global perspective, of increasing our exposure to diversity, and in Chapman terms, of being global citizens. This country was founded on the belief that education is the engine of democracy. In an era when we hope to see other countries enjoy the freedoms that democracy can bring, we are losing our grasp on the kind of education that person that prepares our citizens to make a democracy function. Before we can begin to help other nations give birth to a truly meaningful democracy, we must re-examine the health of our own. We must recognize that too many of our citizens are acting on prejudices born of ignorance of other cultures, other religions, and other ways of life. As we strive to make sense of the post-9-11 world, there are many questions left unanswered. Many people do not have the educational advantages that you have had in trying to find those answers. We live in a world where there, are, there is more racism than ever, more ignorance of other cultures, and great arrogance exercised by those who claim that our way is the right way and everyone else is wrong. As graduates with an advanced degree, each of you has a fundamental duty to constantly hold yourself apart from the propaganda of the media and of popular opinion. I challenge you to always continue your education, to turn to history and to literature, to understand for yourself the lessons of the past. I challenge you to experience other cultures, to learn other languages, and to expose yourself to other ways of evaluating the world. We live in a global community, whether you like it, whether we like it, or not. SARS knows no boundaries. Hunger, global warming, and the threat of terrorists, these problems are not confined to any one nation. In an interdependent world, our actions revibrate on a global scale. And that's why we cannot afford to allow a different sets of boundaries, different sense of borders, the boundaries of our knowledge to hem us in. You must work hard to erase the limits of your own prejudice. If you do so, our world without borders can be a world without the borders of ignorance. This is a real battle we all face, the fight to educate and thus liberate ourselves and our neighbors from ignorance and prejudice in a global community. As graduates of Chapman University, you know the value of global citizenship. As you leave today, you begin the first step on a journey to make the va that value a reality in your everyday lives. With the foundation of your Chapman education, I believe you're up to this critical task. I wish you Godspeed. Congratulations. We now shall proceed with the presentation of the candidates for Juris Doctor and Master's degrees. I didn't hear you. Otherwise, you're going to have another you know, speech. You want to ask me? 
All right. All right. These candidates have been approved by the faculty and the Board of Trustees to receive the degree indicated in the program and on their diploma, subject to completion of all requirements. Will the candidates from the School of Law please rise and come forward? Reading the names of the candidates is Dean Param Williams. For the degree of Juris Doctor, Susan Jones.